So, you're a beginner, but don't know what to do. Well, let's make it quick. First, which 3 star student you should priority? Well, these student are you should go for. Knowing the fest banner is here, and you still insist want Mika so bad, at least the other 3 stars student are one of these. They're most reliable for beginners to push main stages like normal or hard. And can do more than that, like commission, bounty, player vs player, joint firing drill, and total assault. You still have time to reroll. Second, let's set up the formation team. Before that you need to know the basic first. Light defense are weak against explosive, heavy armor are weak against piercing, and special armor are weak against mystic. Or more detailed about attack and defense type are like this. Explosive are very effective against light armored enemies, still okay against heavy armor, and not good against special armor. Piercing did a great damage against heavy armored enemies, still usable against special armored enemies, and will deal worse damage against light armor. Mystic do more damage against special armored enemies, still usable against light armored, and worst against heavy armor. However, these rules does not works if the student has class such as healer, supporter and tanker. Because, these class mostly relying on their stats for tanker or healer, and skills for supporter. Alright, now the setup. Put these student if you have them. You need one student that can deal greatly damage against single enemy for bosses. Two student that can deal area damage for trash mob clearing. And a tanker that can dodge incoming attack, or reduce the damage taken. For special student, put Hibiki in Fuka. If not have Hibiki however, Fuka in Serena should be fine. But, first team has been set up. Now the second team, or the piercing team. Use these student if you have them. The princess will be there for the boss. These two can clear trash mob. And for tanker. You choose. Well, Mika can tank. So, bring another DPS I guess. If you need tanker however, use Tsubaki. On early, she is difficult to use, because she relying on her defense amount. And to gain defense stats, you need fear for bag. Once you get it, all available tankers that rely on defense will be significantly easier to use. Moreover, Tsubaki have fine evasion rate. For the special, it is best to use 2 healer. Now the third team or the mystic team. Well, these are the only student you could get easily. Knowing piercing also can delocate damage against special armored enemies. You can put them here as well. For the tanker, take it from formation 1 or 2. And special student, best to use 2 healer. If you have Aroha, use her, she is great to push basic stages. That being said, having one healer is too risky. So be careful with that. Lastly, the stats from special student are matter as it written right here. So, increasing level or gear tier will improve their stats that goes to striker. Now you did up and ready to push stages. Go push until you weren't able to do any more. However don't call it a day yet, go and try to clear the hard mode and push it. Until you able to farm some of these students. If you do, keep farming until they fully maximize for later content. Lastly, if the PvP is unlocked, go there, and push your PvP rank until rank 1, before it flooded with players. And that's it, what else do I need to talk? Well what about shop? First tab in the shop. So what items that are necessary to buy here? Well, the answer is only buy these. For the EXP report or EXP stone, they are not worth to buy. Mostly, these coming from commission for EXP report, though only do it, when there's double drop. And total assault milestone rewards, for both EXP report and EXP stone. Sure, some of you might be rich, like having 100 million credit is a lot. While in fact, it's not. For one student, to maximize skill itself need 40 million. Fully maximize might be costing around or more than 60 million. So be careful what you spending here. Next tab are Eligma 1. These are exchanging Eligma you get through the gacha into student self. But which student that are worth to spend Eligma into? Of course, Mika. For the rest, it's better to keep it until you ready. Third tab, Eligma 2. These shop are scam for beginner or free to play. So don't buy anything stupid here, it's a waste. 
fourth tab, total assault shop or aid shop, buy these students elf first, and then you can buy the other like student elf, or disc and book if you have excess coin. To obtain the coin, you just need to defeat any total assault boss. And then, PvP shop what to take? Take AP, and refresh it 3 times, only when there's double or triple drop on normal stage and commission. While for the available student, well, complicated to say. So save the coin I guess. Firing drill shop. So, what to buy here? Artifact, these are the rarest artifact, and the only way to obtain are through raid milestone, not really often, special operation, and this shop. You can also get them through the selector as well. For the student elf, Chiruji and Demia you should go for. And then you can take Sumarela for rather. Last, is proficiency shop. These shop offer you limited student elf. That doesn't mean you can recruit them for free, this just to help you to raise their star easier. How do you get? Well only when you reaching max level. Great, now what else do we need to talk? Let's talk about cafe, and manufacturing. So your cafe, is garbage. Go to the manufacturing and get furniture. Furniture obtain. Go to cafe and place it. Viola, AP regeneration rate is increased. Keep doing it until maxed. When the cafe comfort is maxed, you can go to crafting students gift, if you want to raise their bonds level. Now here's the thing, you have two options. 1. Use your pyroxene to buy AP 6 times a day, to speed up your level progress. 2. Use your pyroxene to obtain more students. Knowing double the teacher EXP and double the SSR rates is here, that would be complicated choices. However, to me getting more students doesn't mean your progress will be faster, since you will need more resources to spend on them. So, spending Pyroxene in 2 AP at least 6 times a day would be for those who want into endgame as quickly as possible. And here's the best schedule for when you should spend your Pyrex in 2 AP. Now if you asking how to play Blue Archive on PC, use emulator. For the minimum specs, at least your PC processor has 4 cores, with 3.4 GHz clock speed, 8 GB of RAM, and some space on your SSD. If you trying to install emulator on hard disk, it will often crashing. For the graphics, integrated is still fine. Now what best emulator for starter, to me, it's LD player. Not because I get sponsored. It's because it don't have any confusing setting, so yeah, no confusing setting on LD player, and sure you might be notice this section. CPU core count is how much you want CPU core to run emulator. The differences between one core and a core are pretty much significant. However, adding more than two is barely notice any the differences. And keep in mind, emulator are not perfect. If you countering any crash during the gameplay, that is normal. Well. What do you expect from playing in 64-bit Android games on Windows? If you are having slow performance, then there's a lot of guidance for you. However, one thing they don't include are the over temperature and under base CPU clock speed. What causing over temperature on CPU can caused by bad power supply, big chipset technology, the thermal solution, and Intel. So if these are the computer you use, keep an eye on CPU clock speed when you playing Blue Archive on emulator, because this, might be happen. If you are using laptop, sell it and buy computer instead. So download the emulator, install it, and then open it, after that, go to the Google Play Store. Find Blue Archive, and make sure it has rating. Six. Six. I guess that's all it, but what about which 321 stars student you should build? Will be another topic, if you truly need it, then I'll do it. Though, will took a long time to do so. Anyway, hope this video help you as new players. If there's something or anything that I missed, I apologize to hear that. Since I've been working on another content as well. That's all, and have fun.